Hey Slide Kicks, welcome to episode 2 of Click Starters, the regular video cast to help speakers like you create more amazing slides for use in your presentations. I'm Mike Robertson, reminding you I use Apple's Keynote program for my slides, but most of the techniques that I'll show you today can be done in PowerPoint too. Today I'd like to show you some ideas for using frames. Now, although most of us would never think of thumbtacking or taping a family photo directly on the wall, we seem to have no qualms about slapping words or images on a blank screen so they just float there. But you know what? Things that are precious, that are really important to us, we put in frames. Framing your slides can add focus, interest, and artistic value to your slides. They can even convey a theme or important info that you want to share. I first got the idea of using frames for many hours watching Turner Classic Movies. I've always loved their graphic design on that channel. And I eventually noticed that often when they showed a vintage movie trailer for an upcoming film, they didn't just fill up the whole screen with it. Instead, they would set it off by putting it in a graphic of an old movie theater or insert it into a billboard. So I decided to try something similar several years ago when I was doing a presentation on lessons learned from the Wizard of Oz. I searched on Google Images to find a nice brick wall background. And then, in Photoshop, I did two things. I altered the hue so that the bricks would be yellow, and I erased most of the bricks in the center, leaving an irregular, non-symmetrical border. I put a logo for my title at the bottom of the frame, and it really tied the whole presentation together so well. I started looking for chances to use frames. I took this image of M&Ms, took out a big chunk in the middle, and I even found a font that looks like M&M's. So maybe you're saying, well, how would I ever use that, Mike? Well, you might have a talk about media and marketing, or management and morals. And you could put a fun-sized bag of M&M's on each person's chair to help them stay awake in those after-lunch sessions that are so challenging. Are you speaking to a medical group? I whipped up this frame made of pill bottles in a half hour or so. It adds a customized touch to your session that the audience will really enjoy. Once you begin using frames, you'll start to see them everywhere. Your mind will look for ways to use them. So instead of putting up a, an oxymoronic slide like this, try being a little more creative. You can even make a frame that sells while you speak, a frame that is all about you. Okay, my name is Mike, and my website is isthismikeon.com. So in making my frame, I found a background that looks like a microphone screen. And since my color scheme is red, black, and white, I overlaid in Photoshop a gradient from red to transparent, running from the lower left to the upper right. Now it's red to transparent instead of red to white because the white would alter the sharpness of the background when I layer the two images together. So I adjusted the opacity of this gradient so that the background details would still show through. Then I added the logo and my website, added some drop shadows to make them stand out a bit from the background, and then I get into the picture. Next I made a quick frame in Photoshop, still using my color scheme. Then I cut out the section within that frame leaving the areas where my slides will show. See, now my slides are working for me. By the end of my presentation, every person is going to know my name, how to spell it, and where to find me. And those folks who snap a picture of your slides, well, they'll be advertising for you even long after the show is over. Finally, if you're going to show a video clip in your presentation, try framing it in a fun way, like this. Now we talked about layers in the last episode. There are actually five layers to this slide. Let me show you what they are. First of all, there are two television sets. One with the screen intact and one with the screen cut out. The cut out one appears directly on top of the first image and the audience doesn't even know that it's there. Layers three and four are the table and the wallpaper. The fifth layer, of course, is the video file, which appears behind the cutout screen, and it completes the total effect. 
Frames are a terrific way to dress up your slides. They can be complex, but you can also begin very simply and get more creative as you go. Now, I'd like, I know that you would like to find out more of what to do on a date, but that's all the time I have today, so I'll be back with another Click Starter very soon. Click on the subscribe button to be notified when the next one is ready. Adios, slide kicks.